Hello. Welcome to the Sage 50 Cloud Pastel How to Video. In this video we will demonstrate the steps you need to run the year end when using SQL Point of Sale or SQL Debtors Manager for Sage 50 Cloud Pastel. Year end is processed when all the current year's transactions have been captured and a new financial year is needed to continue processing. To ensure a smooth year end ensure that you have completed the pre-year end checklist. More information is available on this in Sage City under the Year End Center. Please do take a moment and have a look at it as it has everything you would need to know from running the Year End to troubleshooting, should you run into any issues. It is also important to ensure that this process is executed on the computer that has the company saved locally. To check that go to File, Open and select the company you want to run the Year End on. The path will show on the box below. We also recommend processing a backup as the year-end process cannot be reversed. Should there be anything that happens on the year-end process this backup will need to be restored accordingly. Now let's do the year-end. To process the year-end, go to Change and select the option Year-end, and enter the supervisor password to proceed. You will be presented by the preliminary checks window. This is just a message to inform the users that Pastel might go on not responding mode, Click on Yes to proceed. Click on Next on the screen. If you have not done a backup you can do so by clicking on the Backup button, otherwise click on Next. Click on the option Create New Company called and give a name to the copy company and do not tick the option to run the year end in the new company. The copy company will be of all the previous year's transactions and, on the original company the new financial year will be created. These options we selected will create a copy company accordingly and run the year end on the original company allowing you to keep all your SQL history. SQL Point of Sale and Debtors Manager has been designed in a way that when a newly created or copy company is opened for the first time, a new database gets created with that company folder name. That is why we don't select the option to run the year end on the new company as when the new company is opened a new database will be created without the history and settings from the original company. In simple terms, when a company is copied, only the pastel files are copied and not the SQL database files. Click on Next once the recommended reports are printed. Click on Next again and you will be given another chance to do a backup. If that was done already simply cancel the backup screen and click on No to confirm the cancellation of the backup then process the year end. We also strongly advise that you change the password to the newly created company to avoid any accidental login and processing to the wrong company. Once the year-end process has been completed, a new financial period will be available to process to. You should be able to open the company in point of sale. Make sure you do not open the newly created company as it will not have any history. We need to open the original company we have been using as this is the company where the year end has been executed. Users will be able to process accordingly. Debtors Manager users need to follow these steps. Open the program as you usually would, when in the company click on File and select the option to locate a pastel company file. On this screen click on Browse and locate the company which the year end has been ran on. In our example Toyko is the company where the year end was executed and click on OK. Enter the password when prompted for it. All the history will still be there and the users will be able to process going further. For more information about the year end visit the Sage City and you will get all the info under the year end center. Thank you for watching.